Hey guys, it's Laura with Zaz Gnome Designs. I thought I'd take a moment to um, share with you how to do a text outline um, for um, your vinyl cutting. Um, so basically, here I am in uh, Cricut Design Space, and if you've used it before, then you already know. You can't do that in here. So how are we going to do that? So the cheapest way, or the free way, is to use Inkscape. Um, so Inkscape is kind of like Adobe Illustrator, but it's an open source program. Um, if you have Illustrator, I highly recommend using Illustrator instead. It's a little bit more user friendly, um, which I'll be doing a tutorial on that as well. But for um, people who don't have it, uh, you can download Inkscape, and this is where you get it. Inkscape.org, and then you go to download and current version and you can download the appropriate Inkscape for your platform whether it's Windows or Mac or if you happen to be a Linux user they have that too what they don't have is mobile so you can't use this on your iPad there are other programs you can use on your iPad which um, I haven't I haven't gone over those yet but uh, maybe I will because a lot of people use their iPad to do um, Cricut as well so <clears throat> But to, to get started, you want to download this and um, install it. And I'm not going to go through the install process. If you haven't already installed it, um, go ahead and pause the video now and install it. And uh, we're going to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Inkscape as if it's been installed. And bring it over here in this window. All right, so here we are in a new document. Um, and for some reason it opened too, probably because I clicked it twice. But um, in any event, here we are in a new document. Um, and so in order to do text, you're going to have to use the text function in Inkscape, which is over here. It says create and edit text objects. Um, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and click on this. And so when you click on that, some options up at the top show up. What I recommend for this is to choose, go ahead and choose your font. I'm going to be using Lovely Home as one of my favorites that downloaded from, I think, defont.com. Um, and I'm going to make it 144, so it's a fairly good size. And the word I'm using today is life, and this is for something else that I'm doing. Um, this particular font, for whatever reason, doesn't show up completely when you type it, but that's okay. We're, we're not going to be doing anything um, that's going to impact that. We'll actually see it all when it's done. And then the next thing that I do is I make a box next to it, um, especially if I'm worried about lining it up. If you're not worried about being able to line it up, you can skip this part. Um, this is something that I, I concern myself with. I could be a little bit too, uh, uh, what's the word? OCD about it <laughs> but um, I want to be able to line this up um, when I put the vinyl together so I put this box with it so now I have the word life and my box so I'm gonna click on this and I'm actually I'm gonna change this fill and stroke so I can see it better um, to a white fill and a black stroke. So even before doing anything to the text, I've already I can already see where the lines are in my characters. So let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see that better. Just in case you're on your iPhone with a small screen. So as you can see here the F and the I and um, L all of that is running together with its with its strokes so we need to fix that so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this if I'm happy with the with the text and I don't want to edit it I'm gonna go ahead and convert the object to a path and what that does is it puts a path all the way around each of the letters okay 
Now it may look like that it took care of some of it, but it actually didn't. It's just it's just layering um, the the characters on top of each other. So the I is behind the F, um, and the L is behind the F. So the F is going to show up like this. Now, how to fix that? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these. All right, so now you can see all of it. So you can see all of the different characters here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, what's called a union. And this is similar to Weld in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to click that, and there we go. So now we have um, an object that is completely combined, and it won't um, cut each individual letter that you have typed. Okay? So you definitely want to do that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the box and the word by holding the shift button. I can do, I can, I can select both. Let's see if you can see this a little better. So um, there's arrows all the way around it. I'm going to go ahead and group that. And then I'm going to copy it. All right. So now I'm going. I, what I want to do is I want to make an outline around this. So it's actually going to be a layered um, SVG or scalable vector graphic. So I'm going to select this again and I'm going to ungroup it. I know that seems a little odd to group it and then ungroup it, but it's specifically for the copy function. So, <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to object over, or I'm sorry, to path over here. I'm going to click combine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button called outset. Now, the outset settings is, is basically how far out from the existing path it's going to go. So you might have to click this a few times. Um, so there's one. two and three all right so and then right here I, I'm seeing this this little dot here which I don't think is gonna make a big deal if it's not cut so how do you edit that well the quickest way I think is to select it like that using this this select nodes function and then just hitting delete. Okay, so now that little dot is gone in there and your Cricut will not cut that area. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, so I'm happy with this for an outline for the word life. So I'm going to bring, uh, before, that, before I do that, I'm going to change this box to be the same fill and stroke as the word. So I'm using this little eyedropper over here and I'm just going to click inside that area. So now it's all the same. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go in here and paste in place. This is important um, is to choose paste in place instead of just paste because it'll put the word right back where it was. Okay. And now I'm going to change the inside part to the black so you can see it and there it is so now you have an object that is grouped that is your word without an outset and then you also have an object that is the word um, with that's the outset or the outline portion of it okay and so now all you have to do is save it so you're gonna do save as and um, save it to your desktop or whatever. Um, I'm going to save it to this. I'm doing something for somebody, so I'm going to save it to this particular folder. Just make sure you save it where you can remember. And I don't think it matters too much. It defaults to the Inkscape SVG. A plain SVG um, may be more compatible with other programs, so if you're concerned about it, you might want to change it to a plain SVG. 
Um, I used multiple programs, so I'm changing it to plain SVG, but you'll probably be all right with the Inkscape SVG setting for a file type. All right, so I'm going to hit save. Now you can, if you want to, you can close it, but if you want to leave it open just in case something happens, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back here to Cricut Design Space, and this should look familiar to you. This is the canvas. You're going to go to Upload, and Upload Image, Browse. So you're going to browse to your folder, and I'm going to choose the file I just made, and open it, and there it is the word life outlined. So for some reason this is um, not automatically disappearing. There we go. And then there it is. Okay so now you can just select it so there's a green line around it and insert into your project. And now you can resize it together to whatever it is that you want. You can make it big, you can make it small, doesn't matter. And then when you're ready, when you're ready to, um, when you're happy with this, you can actually separate these. You just right click, click on group. That's actually a little bit too large, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just use this for an example. It makes it bigger. So then what I do is I will select the top layer um, and, and make sure that um, these are attached. Okay. And then what I do is I actually change it to the same color as the outline. And the reason for this, I'm going to show you here in just, just one second. And then you want to make sure these are attached as well. Even though they're grouped together, it won't attach them in Design Space for some reason. So now I'm going to click on make it. So now as you can see they're both on the same mat. Now these are a bit, a bit large. If this is too large to to manage for you, but what you can do is you can sh you can scoot one down or if you know, use different parts of the mat or whatever. And then what you can do is you can put your outline vinyl color here and then your um text color here. So if you're going to do silver outline, you could do this or some sort of holographic. Do your holographic vinyl up here and then whatever color vinyl you're going to use, if it's black, white, whatever, um, pink, purple, um, then you can put that down here. You only have to load up one mat and you are ready to go. I'm not going to go through that process. There's lots of tutorials out there how to do it, but um, once you cut it out, what you're going to do is you're going to line up the box on this. You're going to use this part here. Leave as much of the um, of the backing on it as possible <clears throat> and uh, line up your box and then when you're happy with how this is lined up you can just remove the backing on the rest of it and lay it right over the outline part and it should line, line right up for you. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a fabulous day. Namaste.